So why does it seem that Israel are bombing so many civilians? Now, as much as I'm trying to justify what I'm about to say here, I'll let you make your own mind up, man, if you think I'm jumping into one camp or the other. Uh, but then I'm just not polarised that way. But no doubt, <laughs> fucking ton load of civilians and all that are getting uh, killed. Now the IDF aren't doing that because um, they woke up one morning and that is going to kill babies and civilians. They're doing it because of the the war ground, the war field, the lane of the land if you get me. Uh, now it's atrocious and it shouldn't be done, it shouldn't have been let to get done to this at uh, uh, this stage but um, the, the, the point I'm making is they've been green lit to, well, apparently it looks very much so they've been green lit to if there's, a, uh, if there's a military target it doesn't matter if civilians are in the way that's what I'm saying now it's Machiavellian as fuck it is Machiavellian as fuck warfare is um, and uh, I was <laughs> so why are Israel and what Israel are doing and have done since the creation of the state of Israel after the Balfour Declaration and the British Mandate and all that jazz uh, everything they've done and continue to do is guaranteeing pretty much guaranteeing perpetual warfare by committing genocide and slaughtering families and kicking them out of their home and running them out of their land and stealing their land and setting them up and demonising them and mocking them and all that jazz and all that's doing Guaranteeing the next generation of people that are going to be willing to use the Arab lingo martyrs of the future. Um, the religious supremacy that the whole state of Israel is set up around guarantees that from that side. Yeah, I mean, like, fuck's sake. Imagine... Imagine somebody bounced up, right, and went like that. This is a... This is a, a Christian state. Now, I know they used to exist, but in modern day terms. Um, I, imagine somebody was to rock up and say, this is a... Christian state for the Christian people. That's a wee bit fucking supremacist in the modern world, isn't it? Not with Israel. Not with the state of Israel. Have you noticed? Words matter. I don't know if it's continuing this, to be honest. But, um Oh shit. Wrong direction. I don't know if he's continuing this, but I noticed he started doing it when he was doing a audition for a weather girl with his pointy stick, pointing at a map and going, here dumbasses, this is the map <laughs> um, but he keep can, uh, referring to Israel as a country and no I'm splitting the hairs here, but there's a difference between a, a, sta a state and a country he's referring to like the fucking biblical shit man and that's like the greater Israel project, you know that's like all sorts of territory they don't have at the moment but clearly have their eyes on um, and the state of Israel which was set up in 1940 whatever was it 48? I think it was anyway so why are Israel bombing so many civilians? because they've turned pretty much the whole population into an army willing to fight them 
and they've been green lit to they've, they've been given the green light seeing if there's any military targets or suspected military targets anywhere go for it doesn't matter if it's in the playground, hospital, etc, etc Cheese, no cats or cheese, I'm doing this for men.